Hi, East Texas. Thanks for watching CBS 19 plus. Let's start with a look at the weekend forecast and a reminder. It will not be a washout of a weekend, even though we have rain chances in the forecast both Saturday and Sunday. There will be plenty of dry hours to enjoy some outside time. You might not enjoy being outside thanks to the humidity and the warmth, but if you like being outside, lake uh, living is your type of uh, entertainment, enjoyment, fishing, anything of that nature should be pretty decent for that. Scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms will be possible Saturday. We'll go over where and when coming up with the future skycast in just a couple of minutes. Otherwise, Sunday, these are more widely scattered showers and thunderstorms, meaning I don't anticipate as many showers and thunderstorms on Sunday, but there is still a chance and it will be very warm and humid. Likewise, after a morning in the temperatures in the upper 60s, daytime highs will approach 90 degrees Sunday afternoon. So overall, the theme of the weekend is warm and muggy, breezy at times, and maybe an interruption of your outdoor activities thanks to some lightning and thunder. And remember, lightning is oh so dangerous. So if you start to hear thunder, it's time to head indoors. All right, since March 1st, and again, we think of the spring season, March 1st to the end of May. So climatologically or historically, that's the period that we're looking at here. It is our spring, let's say, growing season. This is when we start to charge up the soil. Um, and we get that soil going for our plants that start to grow here in May and into June. And we want to see a little bit of a surplus. It's not necessarily bad to have a surplus going into June and July as once we get past about the second week of June, things start to typically or historically dry out a bit. So since March 1st in Tyler, we're doing about two inches above average. Uh, long view about two inches better than we're expected to be. Lufkin's been very wet, six inches of rainfall ahead in the gauge. Now, if you go all the way back to January, there were a couple of drier periods uh, in February and March, so we're just an inch and a half ahead of schedule for the year. Long view, three and uh, about three and a half inches of rainfall ahead for the year, and Lufkin about five and a quarter inches of rainfall ahead of average. So all in all, not bad, especially that Lufkin total since March 1st, almost 16 inches of rainfall. All right, over the next seven days, we're not talking about widespread flooding rains, but we certainly have the chance for scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms every day through the forecast up until next Thursday with a 20% chance of rain. So uh, that would indicate an isolated shower or thunderstorm threat. But for the most part, I think Thursday will be a dry day for the majority of us. Even Monday will offer up a better chance to be dry. And again, next Friday with just a 30% chance of rain. So next seven days, not bad. No 100% chances of rain, no 80% chances of rain. And right now it doesn't look like we have any deluges on the way. Current drought index that was released earlier this week, Thursday in fact, has Dallas in a little bit of abnormally dry period, but all of East Texas drought free. You are seeing some extreme to exceptional drought over parts of the hill country. Uh, they're gonna get some relief rainfall this weekend and over the next seven days. South and southwest of Waco, down and southwest of uh, Austin, could total about three to maybe four inches of rain. Here in East Texas, we're looking at the light blues and dark blues into some light purples. So that's an indication of three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter, maybe as much as an inch and a half in some locations. And again, that's over the next seven days, so that's not all falling at one time. Uh, like we had the other night. So that is certainly good news. We hope to move when rain falls like that over seven days has a chance to soak into the soil. All right, why the repeated rain chances? Well, we've got a blocking pattern in place. And so even though we have high pressure overhead and high pressure is typically when we think about it, it's air that is sinking and it prohibits cloud development. But in this situation, that high pressure system means a low pressure system is stuck to the west of us. And so the combination of counterclockwise winds aloft around a low and clockwise winds around a high pressure system send a lot of moisture into East Texas. And right along the leading edge of that ridge, you'll find little ripples of energy every once in a while that will move through. And that's where we get our scattered showers and thunderstorms. Drier weather would be possible up here toward the peak of the ridge, but wetter weather closer to the edge of that most intense portion of that high pressure system. 
All right, 10 day low temperature trend here in Tyler. Lower 70s headed through Saturday morning. Sunday upper 60s. It cools back into the lower 60s by Tuesday. This might feel pretty nice outside. Mid 60s Wednesday, Thursday, Friday upper 60s and then a cold front at the tail end of next week, dropping the overnight lows down into the lower 60s, which is just about average for this time of the year. Daytime highs over the weekend, climbing into the mid and upper 80s, close to 90 by Monday. Then a front, so we dropped to 84 on Tuesday, 83 Wednesday, still at 83 on Thursday. There are still some rain chances here, even though they will be less thanks to slightly lower humidity and a north wind. Friday, back to 85. Uh, another front wobbling in the area Saturday and Sunday, dropping the high temperatures back into the lower 80s. The average daytime highs right around 82. All right, we promised you future skycast. Here it is Saturday. You'll notice Saturday morning we have some scattered showers and thunderstorms around the area. They lift out, we dry out. Then Saturday afternoon with a piece of energy coming up from the south, scattered showers and thunderstorms about 1.30, lasting all the way up till 6 or even 7 o'clock. So Saturday could end up a little bit bumpy at times. Severe weather threat is marginal right now, meaning we could have one or two severe thunderstorms. A couple of heavy downpours around Palestine over toward Crockett. They lift through finally by about Sunday morning at one or two o'clock in the morning. Things quiet down by six o'clock Sunday. It is certainly quiet. Mother's Day then starts off dry. It warms up. We make it into the early part of the afternoon out to the west. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms. We get closer to evening and then we have a few showers moving through the area. So Mother's Day may end up being a pretty decent day, just a warm day with a chance to take mom out for lunch or even dinner as the showers and thunderstorms hold off for most of the area till later Sunday. Winds on Saturday. If you're a boater, keep this in mind. You'll have some breezy southeast winds at 20 to 22 miles an hour, gusting at times up to 25 miles an hour. The sustained winds will be anywhere from about 11 to 14 miles an hour during uh, the noon hour into the early part of the afternoon. And again, those winds will be out of the southeast. Otherwise, it'll be warm. 86 in Pittsburgh, 89 over in Linden with isolated showers and thunderstorms, 86 at Tyler and Longview, 84 at Jacksonville, Henderson up to 87, 88 in Panola County, 84 out in Henderson County around Athens and over deep east Texas, Nacogdoches at 84, Lufkin up to 84. 84 degrees also in San Augustine County with a chance for those isolated showers and thunderstorms. All right, here's a look at your Baylor Scott and White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital 10 day forecast. So recapping Saturday afternoon thunderstorms, it's a 40% chance we'll have a high temperature of 86 degrees. Sunday morning will drop to 68 with a 40% chance for widely scattered afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms Sunday and a high of 88. Isolated thunderstorms on Monday, a high of 89. And then we have a 50% chance for scattered thunderstorms Tuesday, a 40% chance of scattered thunderstorms Wednesday. And look at Thursday, could be dry and then just scattered to isolated showers or thunderstorms Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Thanks for watching CBS 19 Plus and have a great and safe weekend.